Right, so as I was saying, I wanted it this pouring consistency. So I've poured it on top and then just spread it out. Now I'm going to put this back in the fridge and let it set a bit because I want to be able to pipe round the edges with it. So I'll uh, show you that when I've done it. I'm going to put the cake back in the fridge as well to set so that the ganache will set. It's setting already because the cake's cold. But And then I'm going to pipe it round the edges and I'm going to cut it up into four probably. One for mum. One for Emma and Max and Jason. One for Kirsty and Dan next door. And one for myself. While I'm waiting for that to set, I will make some buttercream. It's my nephew, Tom. It's his birthday this weekend. And I'm making him a... I'm making him a birthday cake because he's 30 this time. Oh, the little Tom, my nephew. How can I be 30? He used to stay with me at school holidays when his mum were working when he was little. So he's like a grandson to me. He's our Tom. He's like a grandson. So it's his 30th birthday, I'm making him a cake, so we're going out for a meal on Saturday night, it's his birthday on Friday, right, so just leave that button beating and I'm doing it on the whisk attachment for about 10 minutes, so it's really really nice and soft and fluffy and it's changed to a more white and cream colour. Can you see the difference in colour? Beating it for 10 minutes, it's a lot whiter than its original yellowy colour. Well, it's not white, but it's a lot whiter. And that's just the butter beaten on its own for 10 minutes before you start adding your icing sugar. I'm changing to my paddle now, to my paddle attachment. Try and get some of these air bubbles out. Cheers. Not had any dinner. And here I've got 250 grams of butter.